Oh, there's an oldie but a goodie. Hey everyone, welcome back. So like I said before, now that I'm able to sit down and film pretty much whenever I want to, I am very excited to be bringing you another video. I wanted to talk about five products that I have in my collection that I have zero regret paying for. So we're talking definitely more high-end products that do have a higher price tag of something that you would get at the drugstore, but things that I have uh, eventually shelled the money out for and I have absolutely no regrets for doing so. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys to um, purchase some new things if you were on the fence about something and you're just not sure what the hype is all about because sometimes products are so hyped up and you finally get them and you're like, why did I even go down that road? This thing is garbage. Now the first one I want to mention is the Becca highlighters. So right now in front of me I have the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and this was something that I waited for, waited for, waited for. I actually ended up getting it last year during their VIB Rouge sale so I did get the 20% off. It still was a little bit more expensive than obviously something that you would find at the drugstore but I have known previously even before this palette that Becca highlighters were absolutely amazing. My favorite one is still probably Opal of all time but I really do love this blushed copper shade as an eyeshadow. I know every time that someone that's more fair has this palette they're like oh it's so expensive but it's worth it you'll use that like an eyeshadow. I kind of rolled my eyes at that in the beginning but it actually turned out to be really really nice. I do love it on blue eyes as well. That warm copper tone is really flattering for them. So if you are on the hunt for a highlighter and you want something a little bit more high-end, Becca does not disappoint. The next thing I want to talk about is a gel eyeliner. This is the Longwear Gel Eyeliner by Bobbi Brown in the shade Black Ink. And this is something that I tried for myself and I eventually ended up phasing into my freelance kit for brides. It's the only eyeliner that I've ever found that I can tight line my waterline with on the top and I don't get any transfer to the bottom. So I'm someone that doesn't necessarily always or very frequently wear eyeliner on my waterline or even underneath the eye. Just for my eye shape, I feel like it closes my eye off a little bit, but I absolutely love the effect of a black gel eyeliner placed right underneath of the lower or the upper lashes. When using this product, I like to just bring in any sort of an eyeliner brush. I've used it with an angled brush. I've used it with a very skinny, basic eyeliner brush as well. And it's so, so black. Obviously on camera right now, it's just going to look like a regular eyeliner, but it's very black, it's very creamy, and these do not dry out super quickly. I've had other gel eyeliners, specifically from Stila and a few other high-end brands, and they're beautiful, I love them, but they only last me for about a few months, and there's no way that I would ever go through a full one of these in a few months. So in the long run, I feel like it is really worth the money because it is going to last you a long time, and just the fact alone that it doesn't transfer down to my lower lash line makes a world of difference to me. I will continue to buy this, even if the price was raised, it's no argument, it's better than anything I've tried. Next I have a product that's not necessarily crazy expensive. You won't hear the price of this, which is $20, and assume that it's something super unreasonable that you shouldn't go out and spend your money on. It's the Lise Watier Hydro Force Hydro Protective Lip Balm. Now, the reason that I put this in this video is because it is more of a prestige product and it is much more expensive than something that you would find at the drugstore. So some people when they hear $20 they think oh it's only $20 I'll definitely try that and they have no qualms about it. Whereas sometimes people hear $20 and they think $20 for a lip balm? I'm pretty sure I got my last one on sale for $1.99. And they look at you like you have 10 heads. So for me it's not necessarily the most expensive lip balm I've ever tried, but it's absolutely phenomenal. I love the packaging, I love the texture of it, I love the way it smells. It almost smells like the Biotherm Body Milks, if you guys have ever smelled those before. They have almost like a citrus um, scent to them. They're very fresh, and I absolutely love this lip balm. So if you do have dry lips, um, especially with all of the matte lipsticks that are going around on the market right now, that is definitely something that I would recommend. Like I said, it's not the most expensive thing that you're ever going to purchase, but in the world of lip balms, it's definitely more expensive than some other options that you could have. My next thing is a foundation, and again, this is by far not the most expensive foundation that I own, but for the amount of product that you get compared to a regular foundation, it is a little pricey. There are a few little hiccups though, and I will let you know as we go through. So it's the Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation. You guys know how much I love this. I've done a, an entire video back when I was still uploading directly onto YouTube and my videos were very shaky. Uh, I did do a full review on this. I wish that would have turned out better. 
but it's just a regular cushion foundation. These are pretty run of the mill to be honest now. L'Oreal has one, Physicians Formula has come out with one. You're really starting to see them across the board that most brands are doing this. This still remains to be my favorite one. They do retail for $48 Canadian, but when you purchase the refill, it's only $38, which is nice. So I really like the fact that you don't have to buy the packaging over and over and over. Number one, not only is it better for the environment, but it saves you $10 every time you have to refill. So I've tried the L'Oreal one, it's great. I haven't tried the Physician's Formula because I haven't heard great reviews on it from a lot of beauty bloggers here on YouTube that I trust. So I've decided to stay away from that one. Um, but I do, this one's still by far my favorite. It's worth the $48, just go out and spend it. Okay, so my last thing is something that I am actually quite passionate about, and it is my Beauty Blender. Now, this is obviously the Pure Beauty Blender. It's a white one. I have a giant can that I keep all of my sponges in that looks like this. It does say, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, it does say my stash on it with a mustache on it. My mother actually found this for me at a thrift store, and I was thrilled when I saw it. So I do have a few other little brands just thrown in there, but for the most part, this is where I store my Beauty Blenders. And I've never used a sponge similar to the Beauty Blender. My closest one, let me use this disclaimer, is definitely the Real Techniques. I love that one. I do like that it has the very flat shape on it on one side, but there's nothing like the original Beauty Blender. And even, I can even fool myself sometimes. I'll use the Real Techniques sponge for a while, and as soon as I go back to the Beauty Blender, I think to myself, why did I even change? The texture of this is just something that you can't find in any other sponge. If you guys have found some miracle dupe, I would absolutely love to hear about it. But I believe these retail for $28 Canadian, and I wouldn't change it. I stock my freelance kit with them. I use them personally. They're just the best thing that you can buy on the market, and I absolutely regret nothing about spending money to buy my Beauty Blender. Now that I have a much better filming situation, I would absolutely love for you guys to leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. I'm still in the process of moving some of my things from my old place to my new place, so I'm still, I don't have all of the products here in front of me. What I actually sat down to film today was a um, review for the new Benefit Matte Rescue product, which I actually don't have with me right now. So I will be getting that video to you soon. And I also have a lot of blogs coming up about um, the new Stila collections. So the new Aqua Glow Foundation, the new Aqua Glow Concealer, there are convertible color palettes, just a lot of things to talk about. And that means that spring must be coming because everything is new. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me and joining me for this video. I will talk to you on my next one. Have a great day. Bye.